by having a bike ride from uh, Civic Center to here. We're going to have it's a benefit for the church, uh, but it's on his birthday, and we're going to have a couple bands. They're going to be one retro praise to be here. And uh, bring somebody with you. Bring some people with you because we're going to have a good Holy Ghost party. And uh, we're going to celebrate Dyson's birthday. Uh, we're going to try to do that every year. It's going to be one of our events for uh, from now on. We, we'll drop one of the ones we was doing and we're going to have one on the 20th. It'll be close if it's on Saturday, the closest thing to the 25th. We're going to have a Mammoth Tice and uh, that's going to be one of our benefits now. Uh, we do want to invite everybody to come to our recovery meetings on Monday and Thursday. It's good, man. A lot of people get saved. A lot of people won't come to church, but they will walk into a meeting. Sometimes they may to walk into a meeting. Then they come in here and they hear some stories, they hear some things, and they they thing you know, they're in church, they get saved, and their life turns around. That's what it's all about. That's what we do down here. We are about, we are here to serve you. Y'all are laborers of the field. We are here to serve y'all. And uh, here to see you have a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with God, because that's what it's all about. Uh, if you don't know God this morning, I want to encourage you to, to meet him. He's real easy. It's so simple. It's it's uh it's simple. I remember when I got saved after I got through crying and changed my shirt because I was soaking wet. I thought, man, why didn't I know that? That was simple. You know, I thought my life was going. I was going to be somebody different. You're going to be who you are. If, if, before you got saved, you're going to be the same person, but you're going to start changing. You're going to start what doing what's right. Don't want to start helping people. You want to start loving people. So if you're not saved this morning, let today be your day. Hey, hey, that's what it, that's what we're here for. I noticed today. Listen, y'all, listen to me. I ain't fussing. There's too many people running in and out the doors. We down here at church, and we need to have church. Quit running in and out the doors and respect God's house. I seen it this morning. I sit back there and watch it. And just bam, 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 bam. I don't say out the band what. We need, hey, if you got to use the bathroom, go for it, church. I mean, if an emergency comes up, it's one thing. But we, we have a church down here, and everybody running in the outdoor just ain't going to get it, okay? If you're coming down here to play, you at the wrong place because we serving God down here, okay? I ain't trying to be mean. I'm just trying to pull some order up in here. We're going to have order in the church, and we're going to respect the church. This is God's house. This is, this is His. He lets us use it. And we're going to respect it. We're going to have rules down here. And, and don't please don't get mad. If you get mad, take it up with him. Because he's put me up here to run this. And I just can't stand sick people not respecting the church and running in and out the door. And if you got a problem, it's an emergency. Hey, that's fine. But please. Hey, don't bring drinks into the... Hey, what about the bass player Friday night? Hey, y'all hey, get involved. He was something else with him. He played the bass guitar with Pete and Pete the Billy Goats and Charlie Howell in. That was there Friday. He played bass with a boy. He done a good job. That's what it's all about. Uh, we do like to bring, if you want to bring water into the sanctuary, I'm just making a few announcements before we get started. If you bring water, fine. Don't bring dark drinks or coffee because we got spots on the carpet. We're trying to take the best care of the building as we can. Campers on mission come down and redone the building for us. And we're trying to keep it up. And, uh, I think we've done pretty good. Still looks pretty good on it. We're going to get y'all back. I don't know when, but we're going to do it. Y'all want to see something, you need to see this. When campers on mission come down and start working down here. Hey, boys, they work y'all to death. Y'all cry, I'm going to get paid. They work you to death. That's right, that's something else. But anyway, I want to talk to you today about the love of money. You know, we all idle, we all idle things in the world when we should be idling God, trusting God, loving God. A lot of people idle their house. 
A lot of people honor their kids more than they do God. God don't play second. A lot of people serve their motorcycles, their cars, their jobs. But everybody has a problem with money. People will jump over the calling that God's given them for a dollar. There's people in this room that do it. Store your treasures in heaven where it can't be stowed. Moth can't get it. It can't rust. It can't, if you, if you die, your family fuss and fight over you. can't take it with you. You can't take it with you. But money is the root of all evil. Does that make sense? People worship money. I tell you what, to this day, I get a wad of money in my pocket. I ain't start ticking in my mind. Just being honest, I ain't start ticking in my mind because I've been there, done it, and I know where the wall of money is. The boy, it'll mess you up. You could take somebody. Hey, sometimes reason you broke because God knows you need to be broke. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. He knows you don't need money. You probably kill yourself. I'm going to tell you something. I, it ain't about me, but I'm going to use me because I don't like to point people out and pick them. I know people here God takes care of. Me, <clears throat> I come and I work at this church. I run, we run a rehab. We run a church. We run a church in Iowa. And the money that I have, that I have coming in, I don't say I'm, God takes care of me. Because it ain't about paying my tithes. I pay my tithes. It's about being loyal to the, to the Lord. It's about being faithful to God's house. It's about being trustworthy. Where you tell somebody that you're going to do something, do it. I got people telling me all the time, I'm going to come down there tomorrow and I'm going to help you do this, this, this. I can't, I'll never see them. Hey, we all guilty of that. Well, we all need to work on it. We all need to be better and, and go to church. Look at First Baptist Church of Iowa. That church down there has got people. How long have they been going, Mr. Butler? Faithful to church. Go to church every Sunday. Faithful, man. I mean, it is, it, it's awesome. That's the way labor's in the field's got to be. It's got to be, God's got to build a body down here to where people's faithful. People come in on time. Don't come running in 15 minutes late. They come in here early, help get set up, get ready for church, work for God. That's storing your treasures in heaven. Does that make sense? Is everybody, am I getting on where everybody can understand this? I want to just lay it out here to where it should be. If you've got a call in down here at this ministry, we're going to use Haven of Rest for instance. They got a bunch of guys up there, man. They weed like, I mean, they weed. You can't pull them apart. That's why the ministry is where it's at today because God's blessed it. Down here, we can't even have a meeting, man. We can't even get everybody up in a meeting down here because they just won't. I'd rather go do what I got. It's about me and what I got to do and I got to handle my business. It ain't nothing about God's business. That's got to change. Or we can't have a church. We got to get a group of people, a board of people to come down here and sit down up in this office and have responsibilities and take care of it and do it. Amen. That's storing your treasures in heaven. Let me tell you something else. Taking your kids to church every Sunday. Teaching them about God. Teaching them the ways of God. Teaching them the Bible. That's storing your treasures in heaven. Turn to your Bibles to Matthew 6, verse 19. This is some serious stuff, y'all, because this is where we in a mess at. We got good staff, people. I can't say we have. But there's a lot more in this, there's a lot more call to be in this ministry that ain't being in it. Walk up in here and just, well, 
I can do this, I can do that, I can do this, I can do that. It ain't the way it goes, man. You got to be faithful to God's house. You got to be faithful to the Word of God. And you got to be faithful to the calling of God. And we all listen to you. Now listen to me. I ain't trying to say we got to be Mr. Perfect Johnny. Because if you try that, you're going to make your life miserable. Because you ain't going to be perfect. You can't be perfect. You're going to get mad. You're going to say things. Now listen, I want y'all to pray for me. Because I've been struggling ever since all this has happened. I wake up at night dreaming about things. And I, I just, I, I, I still struggle with this. You know what I mean? I'm better today, but every time we have a benefit or every time we do something, man, I, it, it tears me up. Because I'm still looking for them to come walking in the door. You know what I mean? Y'all pray for me about this. It's, I got to turn it loose. I got to turn it loose, but I just can't. Can't do it. But I got to. Because I want to store my treasures in heaven. Tyson and Anita, they in heaven. They walking on the streets of gold today. They wouldn't come back if they if, if they wanted to. They wouldn't want to come back because they in heaven. And we should rejoice. I said, you know, I'm wrong for being like this, but man. You know, turning to jam, turning to jam. I know what he was going to do. He knew what I was going to do. We was a team. And we stored our treasures in heaven. Worked in this ministry. Hard, man. We can't let nothing happen this ministry. Because we worked hard to build. Hey, we didn't do it. God done it. But we get, he's got to have willing vessels to do what he does. Amen. I dedicated my life to this ministry. I still do. Now, when I run into things or get mad, I ain't got nobody to go corner up and say, <laughs> I ain't got that no more. I ain't got nobody, nobody I can call up and say, hey man, let's talk about the church. What we gonna do about this? Because everybody else has got too many things to do. I can't do it. i got to work this way. I'll call people up. Hey, man, what about it? I, I can't do it. i got to work. What about, what about God? <clears throat> what about God? People get jobs down here. They come when they want to come. They come when they want. I'll be there tomorrow. Might not see them for two more weeks. Man, listen. We got to pull this ministry together. Everybody knows who I'm talking to. You know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to you from the pulpit because we are in a jam down here and we all got to pull together and store our treasures in heaven. David, I love you. Be in church more, okay? Okay? I love you. Good to see you. Let me tell you what the Word says. And listen. Paying your tithes don't mean that's storing your treasures in heaven. There's a lot more to it. Paying your tithes shows God that you are. He gives and all the money in the world's his. He just wants to see if you'll give him his ten percent to where you can put, where we can take money and feed uh, three thousand plates a month, so we can get people clothes, so we can have a thrift store, so where we can do what we do down here. It don't add up here what we do. It don't add up the money. It don't add up. But I promise you one thing. If you store your treasures in heaven, God will take care of you. Amen. Things are happening in your life. You can't explain the power bill deposit starts coming back. You've overpaid on your insurance. I mean, just stuff I get some math. I love you. God loves you too. I don't know what's wrong, but God knows. I love you. 
I want to tell everybody here, God loves you this morning. If you live in a life of junk, make it right. Make it right. Because you ain't never promised them all. I want to ask you a question. If you love God and you obey His commandments, you obey His law, and you do what the Word of God tells you to do, He's going to take care of you. He's going to take care of you. If you ain't got no food, He's got plenty. I tell you what, a man that would sit and go hungry and answer something wrong with him. Because he's got places everywhere that will give people food. We'll feed you down here. All you got to do is get here. We don't give out boxes of food, but we cook hot food. Somebody walk in here and say they're hungry. Them kitchen boys make them a bloody sandwich. Make them a poor man steak sandwich. It's serious, y'all. It's serious. You know, listen. I know a lot of us are young in Christ. A lot of people come here. They've been out on the streets. They don't know nothing. Hey, they're young. But I'm trying to teach you how to grow in the Lord. Get off the milk. Get on the meat. And how you going to do that? You're going to obey God. You're going to serve God. Not, you're not just going to give him your junk, something that you don't want no more, or something that you wish you could get rid of. Because he don't want just that. He wants your whole life. Dedicate your whole life to him. And listen to me. I'm sitting up here talking and I got things in my life that I need to handle. You know? But I'll tell you one thing. I store my treasures in heaven. I turn down jobs so I can come down here and run this ministry. I know God's going to take care of me. He does. He blesses me. And I ain't just trying to say me, me, me today. I'm just using me because I can't pick you. I don't want to pull you, pick you out. There's a lot of people in here God's blessing. He blesses you. Give us a church to come down here and see people change their life off drugs and alcohol and porn and all kind of junk. You can imagine change their life through the love of Jesus Christ. Because listen to me, He is stronger than any situation that I ever come up in your life. I can remember when I was so deep in it, money and drugs. And I thought I never would come out. Man. I ain't no way. Andy King. I thought we were stuck, man. I thought we was doomed. But one day, they took me to go to jail one more time. I went to jail. I couldn't man. get out. Stayed up for about 75 days. And I said, man, I read a book, Purpose of Driven Life, and I read that book, it, it changed something in me. And, uh, I made a promise that day to the Lord. Lord, if I, when I get out of here, I'm going to serve you for the rest of my life. Lord, I'm going to do more for you than I ever done for the devil. And I ain't going to forget that. And I'm going to go at it wide open, just as hard as I can go. And I don't care if nobody helps me. I'm going to do it. I'm going to serve God. I can't read and write. I can't do the office work. I need somebody in the office. If you're pretty good on the typewriter, come on down and talk to me. One day, one day, I'm not going to have to beg for help. I'm going to have people. God's going to send people. We're going to have payroll. We're going to have this. We're going to have this. I'm telling you, I've had visions of this. And that's what we're going to do. Hey, I want to tell everybody here one thing this morning. God put this on my heart. God loves each and every one of you. And everybody that's got a secret in their life, I don't care who you are, we all do. He wants to change you today. He wants to give you salvation. He wants to take something away from you that you really don't want. I don't know what that, who that's for, but it's for somebody. Matthew 6, verse 19. Don't store your treasures here on earth where they can be eaten by moth and get rusty and where thieves can break in and steal. Verse 20 says, Store your treasures in heaven where they will never become moth-eaten or rusty 
or whether they will be safe from thieves. Wherever your treasure is, listen to this, wherever your treasure is, there is your heart. Wherever your treasure is, there is your heart. And your thoughts will also be. Your eye is the lamp for your body. A pure eye lets sunshine into your soul. But an evil eye shuts out the light and plunges it into darkness. If the light you think you have is really darkness, how deep that darkness will be. No one can serve two masters, for you will hate one or love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Woo! Make that song. You can't serve both God and money. Let me tell you something. Salvation, there ain't enough money in the world that can buy you that. Amen. Peace, joy, you might think so. Let me tell you something. You get your wife, you're a rich man. They get to all this money. My iPhone's miserable. My iPhone's miserable. <clears throat> Unless they're rich and they're doing, storing their treasures in heaven, giving and helping and doing things for, for the needy. What's it going to take to see people change their life? What's it going to take for people to surrender their life to God? You know, we got guys down here. Like there, how many do we got down? 30? Somewhere close. They all time complaining, fussing. I can't work unless I got money. I can't work unless I, unless I get paid. I don't like to work unless I get paid. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When you're down here 90 days, you're going to do some things. You're going to go out and you're going to work for some people because we do labor of love down here. We help older, older people that need things done. I think if some, a lady called me up, we need my grass cut, guess what? We're going to go do it. Amen. And we ain't going to get paid unless she wants to make a donation. We're going to do things like that. I want to teach you to store your treasures in heaven. I want to teach you to come down here and how to serve God. You can't serve God running in and out the door every five minutes. You know what I think really goes on? God, the Spirit of God gets to move and they get to squirm and they just can't take it so they got to run out the door. Look, man, when God knocks on your door of your heart, turn the altar up. Tear the altar. I want you to know, money ain't everything. Man, I love my peace. I love my joy. I love my happiness. I love Mr. and Ms. Butler. I love everybody in this church. I can honestly tell you I love them. And I mean it. If you save and you don't love people, something's wrong with you. Let me tell you something. Jesus died on the cross to where we could have eternal life. To where we could have peace, joy, love, happiness. And He promised He would help us. He would give us life and give us life more abundantly. That's what John 10.10 10 says. The thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And He wants to throw money at you, throw money at you, throw money at you. Get you hooked on this, get you hooked on this. We'll take all your money. You can't pay your bills. But Jesus says, I come to give you life and give you life more money. You know, I think back on things that I used to do years ago. And it scares me today. I, I, man, I, man, I, I was nuts. That stuff makes your mind where you can't, you don't care. What if I'd have died? I went to hell. Thank God I did. You know, and I still got things I got to work on today. I got to get over all this stuff that's happening. I got to get over it. It bothers me. I, I try to act like it don't, but it still does. And, it, and I'm wrong for that. 
I'm wrong for it because I got to let it go. But when you're with somebody for 10 years and you're working hard to build a ministry and it gets standing on a rock, what is the rock? Jesus Christ has set this ministry up on a rock. We got probation. We got everybody that deals with us. They love this place. And how do they love it? Because we work it. We work it. God give it to us. We work it. We work it. We work it. We work it. And all the work that we've done, I'm going to tell you something. Tyus is wearing crowns so far today. He's got them on his head, hanging on his arms. People bashed on him, talked about him because he go to people that nobody else wants to fool with. And we still going to continue to do it. I went to a few places yet. Yesterday I went to a place and I talked to a guy. I said, man, you need to you need to get it together. Now if somebody would have rode by there and seen me there, I'd have been on drugs. I'd have been on this. That's why it word all comes from. But I don't care what nobody says. I know what we do. Larry Peace, everybody knows him. He's like my daddy. He's been good to me. I'm going to go see him. And I'm going to pull up in his yard, and I don't really care what people say. Matter of fact, I might go see the dad at the church because I've been thinking about him a lot. I ain't seen him until three months. Store your treasures in heaven to see how good life can be. Pay your tithes. Trust God. Serve God. Go to church every time. Hey, listen to me. When you go to church, it transforms your thinking into a different way. All you got, hey, you can come to church and listen to a preacher and listen to that good music, and it'll make you happy. You'll be singing all day. I guarantee you, I'll be singing Muddy Water all day long. That's my favorite song. It's a good one. That's one of my favorite groups. I just want to see you have a good life. And I know how money can mess you up. Guys, when you leave the program, you don't need no bunch of money. If you do, you are gonna mess up. Money is the root of all evil. And I just want to talk to the people that the staff here that works here at Labors of the Field. Don't put money before the position. If God's give you a position and you don't use it. I'm going to tell you something. He'll put somebody else on it. He don't need us. We need him. We've got to tighten up on some things. We've got to get some things together. We've got to. The main thing is, Jesus died on the cross. And you bought and paid for him by the blood of Jesus. And he loves you this morning. Let me get a little off call music. We're just going close. You know, Jesus died so that we could have eternal life. And I want to walk on the streets of gold. I want to see my friend Tyus. I want to see my grandpa and grandma. I want to see people that I hadn't seen since the day had gone that I know was in heaven. I want to see them. And I want to see you change your life today. The altar's open. If you need something from God, come up to the altar. If you need me to pray for you, I will. Stop right here. If you want to do it one-on-one, -on -one, we're not going to run up, grab you on the head, shake you and push you down in the floor because we don't do that down here. I want you to step out in faith and talk to God. Listen to me. When you're talking to God, talk to Him just like we talk. God, please, Lord, I pray for these people. Lord, I pray that you'll help them. I pray that you'll touch them. I pray that you'll change their lives. Lord, they need you. Father, I pray for each and every person that set this off. Lord, I'm not going to touch them. I'm not going to disturb them. But I am going to pray for them. Father, I pray for all the kids. I pray that you'll make mighty warriors out of them. Lord, I pray for every situation that's up here. I pray that you'll touch us. Lord, if there's someone here that ain't saved, 
I pray that they'll get with me after service and let me help them. Father, we love you today. We thank you for our each and every person here. Father, we thank you for the church. And Lord, I pray that if there's someone out here lost, don't you be scared. You stand up. Because God says, if you deny me on earth, I'll deny you in heaven. Go to the altar. You can't ever pray, pray enough. Is there anybody willing to step out and give their life to the Lord today? I promise you it'll be the best thing you've ever done. Life is so good in Christ. But it ain't no good. Money can't buy what God gives you. Again, I want to tell all the fathers, Happy Father's Day. We love you today. Anybody else need anything from the all? Anybody need prayer? Jesus' name, amen.